guys i'm going to show you how to sharpen a blade on mower today i've got this ego 20 inch 56 volts lithium powered uh, mower but it can really be done on any mower it's all kind of the same principles this is a really nice mower though i highly suggest it if you want to go electric but uh, you're going to need a few of the same items again pretty much all the same no matter what brand mower you have you're going to need something to hold the blade still for when you take it off and then when you take it off, you're gonna need a uh, ratchet with the right size socket. This is a 13 millimeter. You're gonna need a, a vise or something to hold the blade steady. Um, bench vise would be best, but I've just got these today. You're gonna need uh, some kind of grinding stone. And for that, I've got this little uh, one that's attached to this DeWalt drill. Uh, it just goes on like a bit wood, but it uses the drill to spin and it grinds the the blade down pretty well. There's other ways to do this. You can use a manual file or a bench grinder. There's a million different ways, but this one works well. It's cheap, easy, and then you can just take this little bit off like that and you got your drill again. All right, let's get to it. All right, so first and foremost, to take the blade off, you're going to find a hole that's you can stick the screwdriver in that holds the blade steady then you're going to basically take your ratchet loosen it i've already done that um but it'd just be as simple as that some of them may be reverse threaded but this ego one is not so basically you take this blade off and there may be some washers this and that make sure to hold on to those and remember the order they go on so for this one there's a blade then this big washer so i'm just gonna put that down or put it back so you don't lose it and here is the blade itself it's a little worn here or there uh could always be worse but this definitely needs a uh a filing to bring some of that life back it's going to give you a nice clean cut as compares to this dull blade it's just basically like cutting the grass with a brick versus you know a razor all right let's sharpen it up here is the blade i've just got it held on these little hand grips uh, it's probably not the safest way but i've done it before you'd be better off with the uh, bench vice if you have one but this is all i got for now so again it's not rocket science you basically just take this and start slow on this edge you don't want to go too fast because it'll just be bucking around like crazy but basically just start it and let the stone do the work grinding it down You can go a little faster, gradually. But again, take your time. You can see these vice grip knockoffs are holding it on just fine. So, go like that. You want to do that about, you know, 10, 15 times per side. You can tell already there. Look at that side that I filed just a little as compared to that side it's already making a big difference all right you can see here this is the side that hasn't been sharpened look at that and here's the side i just did pretty big difference it didn't take very long at all sharpened not sharpened super dull in comparison to this thing Wow. All right, let me do both sides now. I got the blade sharpened on both sides and we are gonna have to balance it. To do that, I'm just gonna use this little screw right here. Um, it's just basically a screw that's screwed into this fence post. Um, this house is only about four, four and a half years old now and the builder actually just left it when they put this fence up. So I've been just using it for this purpose. I never took it down. Um, Basically, what you do is you take the blade and then you could use a screw or just a screwdriver at the end of a vise, kind of anything that'll just hold the blade at the point. And you set it down right here and um, you basically follow the blade. Now, this blade is actually pretty balanced. So it seems like I did a pretty good job on it. But if it's imbalanced, like say this side was leaning like this, that would mean this side is heavier. And what you would wanna do is take your grinder 
and shave some more of it down to even it out because you want it flat that way when it's spinning in the mower it's not vibrating like crazy it's just one smooth spin what you want as an end result is to have it just about like that um i could take a little bit off on this side because it's slightly leaning but all in all it's pretty pretty much dead dead center so i'll happy with it all right so uh, let's get it back on the mower and see the difference so to get this mower on it's basically a reverse you want to look for any indentations or uh, grooves that the blade has to go in this one's got this half circle right here so you want to line that up plug it in like that and then thread this bolt in just by hand is good for now then you want to take the screwdriver kind of wedge it in that hole that holds the blade in place and then tighten it back up just as simple as that you want it on there firm but you don't want to break anything that should be good there let's fire up the mower and see how it sounds all right here we go doing that I'm gonna take the battery out and just make sure it's tight again simple as that yep didn't come loose so it's on there good everything's good to go ready for next few months of mowing with this nice sharp blade all right that's gonna do it for this one be sure to like comment subscribe and until next time stay tuned peace